Um, some decisions may have been delayed, which are now able to be made because we've come to an end of season. We've preserved our status. It seems strange, but probably with five more points, we would have been up to around 11th place. But I think at the end of the season, your position is a true reflection. And we know there's a lot of things that haven't been right. And some of it is a holdover or a hangover from the previous management um, with, with the similar players. So um, changes to be done. What about uh, the pluses for you during the course of the year? Well, I think that we've had uh, one or two good things. I think that um, in terms of player-wise, I think that, um, uh, Peter Atherton and Nolan once again proved solid, dependable players. They were so important to us, really. We were unable to get anybody as an ever-present last season. The goalkeepers fluctuated a little bit. Um, the two Yugoslavs, obviously, uh, have, have taken a while to settle, longer than I had um, anticipated. That needs to come good or needs to be disposed of, um, but it was quite an investment. We need to see something from that. Um, we, injuries to important people. I think Pembridge has legs and heart and is important in the modern day midfield. We missed him for a long period. He came back, um, uh, didn't appear everyone's flavour of the month, but he'll, he'll battle through that. Um, and the, the major problem, I suppose, was the fact that we had uh, several players in the 30 plus age group and it was very difficult to accommodate more than one or two of those players in the side. Um, further pluses, I suppose, has been Hurst's more consistent um, uh, play due to a lack of, a, uh, of any serious injury this season. That was important. I think the bonuses towards the end of the season was Newsom uh, settling in quite well and in being important to us, and Reggie Blinker giving a little bit of flair and character. And I'd also say Mark de Grice was a relative success in his first season uh, because when you do come from abroad and it's a fierce theatre is this premiership. It, every game is very hard. Every point has to be fought for. And you have to bear in mind that the top group of clubs, the very ambitious clubs, are investing lots and lots of money. And there is much money chasing too little talent. Uh, but if we're going to compete, we have to be in that market somewhere. I can see changes. I, I think there's several players here, and I'm not being unkind, at Hillsborough who have been here. I mean, Chris Woods has now left us for, um, for Denver. And I can see other movements of players of that age and of that uh, reputation even uh, who've been here for several seasons. I think the supporters must be very careful. They don't uh, get mixed up with uh, what players were and what they are now and what we need for now and for the future. And what about your relationship with the fans? I mean, on the final day of the season, there was tremendous support down at Upton Park, but it's had its ups and downs for oh, you. Oh, yes, I think I've had a, 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 a difficult time. I think the fans were very warm and very and very fair uh, for quite a long period. I think the QPR result and I think the Nottingham Forest result has set the fans thinking that, um, you know, all isn't well. And of course, I won't tell lies, all hasn't been well this season within the club. Uh, but we have overridden those problems to keep our status. That's the most important thing. Now we can make the changes that may have been made and should possibly have been made uh, prior to me even coming here. But I've needed a year to observe and assess, and, um, and now it's time to make the changes, and now we need to see some progress made. But um, I understand the fans in the last couple of games, very restless, they are ambitious. I sometimes feel the ambition of the fans is, is greater than um, the realism um, that we are, we are into. There are clubs spending seven, eight, nine, ten million. And, um, you know, we've got to look at that. We have a wonderful ground. We have a marvellous training area here. We have a beautiful pitch. We have some very nice, warm people who work here. Um, but it's all about the team. The team has to be successful.